We have a brand new 22,000 square foot building here. It's coupled to the existing plant. Our old plant, our old MDS plant, used to be able to process 325 tons per day of molasses. The new building expansion can do double that, 650 tons per day. We've got a series of what we call separators columns in there as well as an evaporator train and a bunch of other technology to make this happen. When we process sugar beets in our factory, we extract about 80 to 85 percent of the sugar. And that ends up in the silos and ultimately out on the store shelves. There's also pulp, which we convert into an animal feed and sell that, and then the molasses. And so the molasses comes back around from all of our factories into this new MDS building, where we can then get another 10% of the sugar that we didn't get out the first time and separate that, granulate that, and that also ends up back on the shelf. So overall of 100% of the sugar coming in with the beet, we can get 90 to 95% of that sugar out. So in molasses desugarization, it's essentially a separation process. And once we do that, we're also able to take two other co-products within the molasses and separate those. So the sugar gets separated, it goes back to the process, and then we can separate what's called betaine, which is a high amino acid that's sold as an animal feed. And then all the other non-sugars and salts end up in what we call CMS or raffinate. Again, another animal field that goes to animal sales. So essentially everything that comes in with the beet gets repurposed going back out the door.